memorizing lines now is is um a little harder for me but it's okay because my parts have become a lot smaller and no. my lines have become- no, I that. mean, well, it, it for is, now, it, yeah. But here's the thing: I'm okay with that. I'm fine with, yeah. with, uh, you know, I've done my my piece. Yeah. I really feel accomplished in 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 my career. I never thought about having a career. By the way, I had a kid when I was 21, and I was like, I'm not having a career. I'm having a. I gotta get a I job. Gotta a I gotta pay a bill. Yeah. You know. So I, I I think I've only turned down uh, uh, two jobs my my That's entire so life interesting. You know? yeah because to me to me acting i fell in love with it so early that it was oh there was never any question that i would do anything else so the fact that my life has taken other turns as it does you know um has been really interesting but to me i don't feel done with it which is why i'm still acting but like it, it's something that i i i feel like because i to me, for me to get to that place of feeling satisfied and feeling like, okay, I've, I've had a good career that I, you know, but I always intended to have one. This was always the thing I for intended me. to have a career as well. It's just oh, like, well, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this. I didn't make decisions, career decisions. Oh, career, I okay. went and, I and I was like, I want to, I mean, I might've passed oh, on see, an audition or something. Middle, where I was like, I knew I wanted a career, but at the same time, a job is a job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you want to work. You want to, That's you why know, I love, pay, don't you love that question when people are like, what made you choose this movie where you play? I'm, I have 20,000 reasons to choose yeah, this. <laughs> no, seriously. And I'm like, it was, they hired me. I'm like, that's, that's the answer. Most but there of the time. are people who choose things like well, that. Well, they're select you. Yeah. And, and, because someone said to me that your career and I was like I don't I just have been working you know and yeah. that's something my dad did too he worked he always worked you know he and he, then the career kind of follows yes you, yeah. yes exactly I mean well, I guess what's the definition of a career you know because you know go ahead I'm so no sorry. I was just I gonna say that you. my brother Peter was on 21 Jump Street the show with Johnny Depp mm-hmm. and there was a massive demand for him uh, to do a, a movie because he hadn't, you yeah, know, I yeah. mean, he was in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, um, but he hadn't really done a movie, and there were st- stacks of scripts. He was offered a million dollars to do this and that. Yeah, and I think it was like Edward Scissorhands that he ended It up. was Crybaby. Oh, Crybaby. With, with, oh, with John Waters. Uh, uh, John Waters. And yeah, yeah. I said to him oh, one time, true. I was like, what, what made you choose? Yes, I know, Johnny Depp. Hello. No. What made you choose that particular movie, you know, of, of all the movies? And he said, the director. Yeah. He just said, I wanted to work with the director. Sure. And if you look at most of his movies, he it's it, there's significant, uh, well-accomplished directors that are doing the movies that yeah. he did after that. So he, he had a career. He had a career. <laughs> but the thing is, too, is also there's plenty of people that they make those kind of decisions because he could have made the choice, that safe choice of doing like the blockbuster or something. Right. People make those career-based decisions and it falls apart. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's where you get the people you're like, what happened or so-and-so, you know? The thing to me is like I, I never wanted to be, I think I had a very small, like maybe two years of my career, quote unquote, um, where I was precious about what I did mm. because, and then I was like, I don't, this feels wrong. Like this doesn't feel genuine to me. It feels like I'm taking myself too seriously. It feels like I'm too precious with this thing that is so random and kismet. And like we were talking about with the hat song, you don't know what's going to hit. Like you don't know what people are going to like resonate with or right. hold on to. And there's so many variables that go into it that it's, you know, I, I just, I stopped being precious with it of being like, no, I'm whatever because to me i'm like nobody is that should take themselves that seriously i I, I think it's a slippery slope yeah but i totally agree with you and uh i mean i I just you remind me of a story i was talking to jake recently about a month ago and he was just being so sweet and kind and saying all these such nice things to me about he was like you know i i think i've said this already that we we, uh uh, we were so lucky to have such a great group and he didn't really know that at such a young age and he said he learned so much from me and all this stuff and he he said, you know, uh, uh, he always calls me Mr. Deloise. Uh, Mr. Deloise, you know, I mean, just you are just, I mean, somehow you've been able to work in this business your whole life. And, and I mean, if you think back on it, that's kind of a dig, but it's also a compliment. Like, no, to the, me, what, I, from, from coming from Jake, I can see the compliment. It was so sweet. Him. And 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 that has been uh, uh, something that I feel very lucky about that I have been able to yeah. work my whole life. You know? Cause that's and, something I can attest of like that transition from being a kid actor to an adult. It's tough. Cause like they, 
They really want to see you as that kid. Yeah, exactly. Or they want to see you as Jerry Russo, you know? True. I mean, in this business, I feel like you're always the last thing that you did. But at the same time, I think transitioning from being an adult actor to a kid actor, like still for parts to play my age, they're like, oh, you look too young. And I'm like, I know that I don't. I know that I look just as young as the people on the show, but you don't have this like preconceived thing in your head right. of me being a teenager. You know I totally I mean? agree with you, and it's 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 very fickle the the yeah. business. And 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 I just wanted to go back to I've been very happy that I've worked in this business and not had to go back to the yogurt store. <laughs> That's good. You didn't have to go to your own Gert Barn. So wait, hold on, and then we'll then we'll wrap it up because we've been we've been we've talked about this episode front sideways yes, and Jenstone. all over the place. What was the first car that you bought? With your a sixty nine Plymouth Barn. Roadrunner. Uh, it was seven thousand five hundred. My dad said he would pay half, and I paid the other half. And it was such a sweet car. It was. I want to see pictures if you have. I one. have one. Okay, I okay. have one. And and actually, uh, a few maybe a decade ago, actually, uh, old. <laughs> I I got a, a text on on Twitter, yeah. and someone said that I was on the title of the car, and they had just bought what? the car. It was in Europe. They 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 transported to Europe and painted it black. That's Mine amazing. Mine was metallic green, and I, I had it in high school, yeah. so I could peel out. I could like hit the gas, yeah, and I would peel yeah. out. Oh, that was my favorite. That was a good car. Yeah, and it was a '69 uh, half year. 60, '60s like late '60s were a good time oh, for beautiful cars. Beautiful car. It was a very muscle car, like a kind yeah. of a Mustang, a classic Mustang. Yeah. But half year, it came out in a convertible. And you're like, ah. Uh, well, I was like, if I ever, you know, make it big, I'm going to yeah. buy one. And I saw the car a long time ago. I saw a convertible one and I put a note on the window and I was like, hey, if you ever want to sell this, the guy called me. He was like 30 grand. I was like, pass. Yeah. I'm not going to spend Hard 30 grand. Pass. But yeah. And I kept driving. But now I don't know if I saw um, uh, that car again. I might, I might have to. Uh, I might have to do it. What was your first car? My first car was the one I just got rid of like a year ago. The, the, the Prius. The Prius. Yeah. My red Prius. My, I remember my you cherry. Driving. My cherry. Yeah. That's the best thing about a, a TV show uh, uh, is the parking spot. Oh my God. And the softball team that you get to be on. I love yeah. the softball team, but I remember you driving the Prius yeah. and I was like, there's Jen Stone. Yeah, because I, I learned car. to drive. We had the rider strike. And then in that rider strike, I went home and got my license and like went, like, I went to the DMV. Uh, no, I went to Driver's Ed. Yeah, that was that was what I did during the writer strike I between like se season one and two, I think. Season two. I don't remember that. Yeah, when it was. but you but did. You did was... watch me grow up. But yeah, I was... literally just, I literally just, I kept that car for fourteen years, and I just got rid of it because I was like, she's tired. And you got the old, you got, I got the, the old school, new school Bronco. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah. the Bronco because I, I still, I want to learn how to drive stick shift. I still haven't. So. Okay, just because we said that, I did buy uh, an old restored Bronco, a 79. Because uh, they only, in, in 78, 79, yeah. they came out with the body type that changed then later. And we call it Bob. Aww, Bob the Bronco. That's cute. <laughs> I was between, mine's white, so I was between OJ and Marilyn. And I ended up with Marilyn. Because well, I was like, go. OJ's a little on the nose. <laughs> Marilyn is beautiful. Oh, yes, okay, she is. Okay, here we go. Yes, she is. Crystal ball questions. I'm, I, I love you to death, but oh I my am, God, am still going to confiscate it? that wand from you. No, I don't want... Oh, shit, this is long. <laughs> Hold on. Put Do you want me to read glasses. it? No, I can I'm going to try. Okay. I'm going to embrace it. I believe in you. It. I believe in you. Hold one on. of all of your glasses. Okay. Is there a costume from the show that you liked most or disliked most? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I... It's I'll, a perfect question It's a great you, question. It's it a was, perfect question was, for me. Yeah. Because that's like Harp, a part of Harper's identity was her fashion choices. Um, and that she made her own clothes. And that she made her own clothes, okay, yeah. Okay, quiet um, <laughs> My favorite changes all the time. My favorite today, because I'm feeling nostalgic, because that's what this show does to me, is um, the one from the Crazy 10 Minute Sale with the Rainbow Socks, because that was the start of it all. Yeah. That was the start of it all, and we didn't even know it. Like, I had no idea that was going to be her thing. Um, so today, that one's my favorite. My least favorite? Okay. So, there was one where I had, like, a third nipple, and I fucking hated it. Excuse <laughs> you remember my what episode that was? A third no. nipple? No. <laughs> on the outside? Hold on. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I was dressed up as a cactus. I think it was Bailey Madison's last episode. Yeah, where you were uh, in the play, or yeah, you were in a play, that's right? What it was. Yeah. So, but I remember because it was it was always it always worked out that if if I had a crush or something coming to set, I would be wearing the dumbest shit ever, and it wouldn't be like, oh, it's a cool like themed costume. It would just be like you're a cactus, like it would be something like that. So I don't know who 
somebody was being a dick. But like they literally put this like tiny little like cactus nubbin like off the side of my boob. And I'm like, what is this third nipple that I'm gonna like, this guy that I'm really into, who the hell knows who that is now. But like, cause I had a new dude every week that I'm like, he's cute. Oh, but that's so funny. But literally like whatever guy. And I was like, like trying to hide my like third cactus nipple or that whatever so it was. I, I think I directed that episode.